So the cops just handcuffed the guy and put him in the car. <clears throat> I just saw him. <laughs> you recording, Sue? I'm making them accountable. So they just arrested this guy. For no reason? I don't know, the traffic stopped. I just saw it. Yeah, I said, let me make sure he doesn't get beat down or nothing. <clears throat> so the passenger was pulled out, handcuffed, and put in the police car. The driver's still in the car. So we're going to stay and make sure he don't pull the driver out and throw him on the ground or anything. <clears throat> so they're going to have the driver step out now. This is where it gets crucial. I was trying to block that cop light. You see, I'm checking to see if there's any weapons or anything. Why would there be weapons? Now, I don't know what the traffic stop was for. He has no front plate. Maybe it could be for no front plate. far enough back just do your job I'm a journalist okay I'm not in your way see they want us to go back where we can't film it because if something happens they don't want it to be on video Now, all his idea was step forward and step this way. He said step back. Because cops are paranoid, that's why. I'm standing here with a camera. What am I going to do? Throw my iPhone at him or something? Fucking idiot. Talking about step back. I got a camera and I got a journalist credential. What am I going to throw my iPhone? Fucking idiots, man. Now, see, let's see if he tells her to step back. Of course not. She's not recording you. So he lets the pedestrians walk by because they don't have cameras. But that pisses me off when they let pedestrians walk by, but then the guy with the camera has to back up. Really? <clears throat> so really, because he let the pedestrian walk by, he's got no, uh, no grounds for violating Penal Code 148G. which is that we have the right to record all law enforcement officers and videography alone is not deemed suspicious. There goes two more. So he told us to step back, but he let the other girl walk by. That gets me. Because she wasn't recording, that's why. Now, after searching this guy and everything, he said, you're all set. So, obviously, he didn't have a weapon, right? So, it looks like the passenger, though, is going to go to jail. And the reason he wanted me to step back was because right here I can see what this officer's doing and he doesn't want me to see what he's doing. That was the 
that's the thinking. You have to think like an officer. But obviously the officer doing the Terry Frisk doesn't have a problem because he does his job. One cop doesn't want us in a vantage point where we can see what's going on. This officer doesn't have a problem with it. Because he probably was raised in the street. So now they're gonna unhandcuff the passenger and let him go. Why? Because he's nothing he didn't do anything. This is why we're out here, folks. This is why we're out here, right here, right now. I don't know if you can see with these flashing lights. I'm narrating for you guys. I hope this you can see. Um, I just came out here with my cell phone. I thought with the lighting I could get a good shot. I probably did, but. So we unhandcuffed the passenger and he's gonna let him go. So obviously he did nothing then, right? He didn't commit any crimes or anything. <laughs> yeah, have a, they say have a good night after they handcuffed him and put him in the back of the police car for nothing. Take care. Unbelievable. So we're gonna stay for a minute till the cops leave because I don't want them getting back out of their car. Or at least until these gentlemen are gone. Thank you. You got it, we're out here for you guys. And there goes the pussy cop. Back up, man. I don't want to get hit with your iPhone. Stupid ass cop. There you go, guys.